today's video, we're gonna talk about the three essential components of a practice session, a good practice session, right after this. Hi, my name is David. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping you develop your musical personality on the instrument in order to tell a better musical story. And in order to do that, well, you do need, do need to, to put some practice, right? You need practice. It's fun. I love practice. I love targeted practice. Practice with a purpose. And in my opinion, there are three main components of a good practice session. Now, the amount of time you need to practice, well, that's a topic of another video. I actually covered that somewhere, about 20 minutes. Today, we're gonna to talk about what that practice should have. There are three components, and these components in no particular order are creativity, theory, and technique. And that can mean a lot of different things. You could put a lot of different things under these different categories. Let me explain. Let's start with creativity. The creativity aspect involves the instrument, of course, but also your ears, and that's very important. Now, a couple examples. You could do this with a backing track if you want. You just play the backing track, and by the way, I have a few backing tracks for you that are great for practice. The link is below. You just sign up once, you'll get access to those. But we have a backing track here that is made of one chord, and those are the best tracks, in my opinion, to develop that creativity. So I'm gonna play that backing track. And over this backing track, you're gonna start singing. You know I was going there, right? I'm a big fan of singing the lines you're going to play. So start singing. Once you have something cool, and you think cool is cool, or representative of who you are, try to replicate that. Okay. Fish your mouth. If you don't have a track, that's okay. Just start singing. I like that. If you hit the wrong note, fix it. Okay, so that's the creativity part. Now, how long do you do that? Well, again, it depends on how long you have to practice. If you have an hour, 20 minutes, just do that over a backing track or without a backing track. That's the creative process. Always engage your ear and your instrument. The second thing is theory. Theory is where you make sense of things. That's where you engage your mathematical mind. So it could look uh, different ways depending on, on where you're at. But for this, if you find, found something interesting on the yeah, create, cre, cre, creative aspect, sometimes I stumble over my words, the magic of editing, which is not gonna happen today. Yeah, we have this idea, now we're engaging the, the theory analytical part of our brains and we're trying to Understand, why does this sound the way it does? So you can look at it from different angles. Maybe the rhythm, what kind of rhythm is there? What kind of intervals? Um, if you take the interval route, we were playing here in E major. Look at the intervals. We have a, a root, seven, and then a five, and then this right here is a major third. And you get comfortable naming these different things that you covered. Because if you can name, and name them, they're becoming a part of your analytical mind a little bit. And it's almost infusing your mind, your creative part of your brain with the analytical mind of the brain. Creative on the left or right? I don't know. I don't know. But it really does help consolidate those things. Or maybe you, you just read an article. Or maybe you analyze a chord chart, anything that engages your analytical mind. And then finally, the third component of a good practice session should be technique. That's what will allow you to effortlessly play anything that you hear in your mind. See, all these parts are really linked to each other. It's all part of the language of music. So theory, the, the technique, sorry, the technique part is really going to depend on where you're at on the instrument. Uh, I've been on a 
economy picking route and there's still a lot of things, always things that I need to figure out. So that's where I will just really focus on the things that I need to focus on. If you find something that is not very smooth, just slow it down. During that um, technique aspect of your practice. Now these three components are going to vary a little bit in length depending on where you're at again. And you need to be very honest with yourself. If you uh, feel that there is a lack of understanding of what you're playing, then your theory is going to be a little bit more uh, prominent during your, your practice session. If technique is where you're struggling, then make it a little bit more about technique. This is not the time to uh, enjoy yourself <laughs> necessarily. You can enjoy the process, but you really need to go where it hurts. Now, the backing tracks that are provided in the um, download below, you need to sign up for that, you'll get out, it's free, are really great for the, all that development. They, they just use one chord, a single chord backing track. Here we used one of them, but there are a few others that are provided in the charts also. And um, yeah, you should sign up, it's free. The link is below. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do so and, and hit that bell, that way, YouTube will notify you when a new video comes out, about two a week right now. If this is your first visit, thank you very much for watching this video till the end. I appreciate you all. Practice well. I'll see you next time.